Hi everyone, this is Katie, your reference librarian at Regina Library. Today we'll be walking you through how to use the Wall Street Journal database. We'll show you how to get to the database, we'll do a sample search, we'll go through the results page, and we'll pull up an article from the Wall Street Journal. We're going to start on the Riviera Library homepage. From the left-hand side, we'll click on Research Databases and Journals. When you get to that page, the Wall Street Journal is located up toward the top, in the General section. It's also located under News Resources, along with the New York Times and Washington Post. We're going to click on the link, and it should bring you right to the database if you're on campus. If you're off campus, you'll be asked for the last nine digits of your RIV ID number. Once you get to the Wall Street Journal page, you can enter your search terms right in the search box. I'm going to use Trans-Pacific Partnership as an example. This might also be referred to as TPP, so I'll put that in as an option as well. You'll notice that this database has an autofill feature for its search, so if you see your term pop up, feel free to click on it right from there. We're now on the results page. The first thing you may notice is that our search terms are highlighted in yellow, which makes it easy to spot where they're mentioned. Another thing you may notice is that your results are not sorted by date. In our top three results, we have articles from 2015 and 2012. You can change that by clicking Most Recent First from the drop-down menu on the left-hand side. Just hit Sort to refresh your results. Now, to get to the full text of the article, you have a couple options. From the results list, you can click either the title of the article or the icon underneath that says Full Text. If you're using an article to do research for a paper, you can also build a citation right from here. Just click Cite on the right-hand side of the page, and you'll get a pop-up with different citation options. You can copy and paste right from here into your references. We're going to end today's tutorial with how you can get help. If anything we went over today isn't making sense, or you have a question about something, we're happy to help you track down the answer. That's what we're here for. You can call us, text us, email us, chat with us, or stop by the library. We're open until midnight most nights, and we have a reference librarian at the desk every hour that we're open. Thanks for watching, and happy searching!